This is the Sherbrooke Hotel, Miami Beach. I'm gonna do a room review. So this property is located at 901 Collins Avenue. Uh, they got a little porch out here, but no, no chairs. It's a very nice Art Deco building. Uh, they don't really have a front desk. So you let yourself in the front door with your key. Most days they have a tour guy here trying to sell tours. The lobby of the, of the building is uh, not really much of anything. Uh, it's, not, it's not manned. There are no chairs for you to sit in. Uh, I got some nice pictures on the wall mainly of the uh, Art Deco history of this part of South Beach. Um, and it's, uh, it's a hotel slash apartment complex. I think he says he's got 24, 24 units that are rented out hotel rooms and uh, 10 or so uh, apartments that are owned by different people. Uh, there is an elevator, it's out of service. Uh, the manager says it'll be back in service soon. So I'm gonna go up to the second floor. That's where my room is located. dark hallways. And not very well cleaned hallways. Okay, well I am in room 205. This is room 205. First thing you'll see is there's sort of a family room kind of area and then a bedroom kind of area and the kitchen area. So let's walk through it. Uh, so you got a dining room table. Uh, nice mirror. Two metal chairs. Not comfortable. That's a nice art look on the floor. I've already moved my stuff in, so here's the closet to put your stuff. Uh, brand new air conditioner, and it works very well. A little utility closet. Uh, it had four four towels in it for me. Here's the bedspread for the for the bed, but I'm or taking that off. And then you got a broom and a hair dryer. Uh, the, broom is nest the broom is needed because you do not get daily cleaning here. Uh, the manager does come by and give you fresh towels each day uh, and he'll take out your trash for you. But that's the only really housekeeping service. Uh, small bathroom, but it works. That's a heater or what? Can't imagine it really doesn't get cold in Miami Beach ever. Uh, the only toiletries you get are a little bar of soap. And you can see the bathroom's not been updated in a while. That tile probably looks like the original tile from maybe when the building was built back in the 1940s. Uh, got a nice mirror here. And some place to store your stuff. Kitchen's pretty well done. We got the full size refrigerator. The stove. The stove is really old. Gas stove, but it works 
well. Um, it's rusted out there though. So you got uh, dishes, glasses, silverware. Got uh, one sort of frying pan and one pot, so not, not really much there. And there's a coffee maker with some filters that were there. Uh, other than that, you really don't get. There are no uh, real uh, kitchen staples that are there. The bed, it's not bad. Uh, two little tiny pillows, <laughs> and they are tiny and old. Uh, here's the old air conditioner. I don't know if he's planning on taking that out at some point or if it's just going to sit there. The windows look out just to the building next door. No real view. Got a nice chest of drawers there. Ceiling fan in both rooms. Uh, peeling Paint on the ceiling, hardwood floors, uh, which which reminds me, I think, you know, you shouldn't be thinking about this place as a fancy hotel, you should be thinking of it as a beach shack. Uh, the hardwood floors are old, they're probably original too, but it's hard to get all the sand out of the, the crevices and such. Uh, here with the manager, he puts up his uh, house rules. Pretty much says you can't have parties here. Tells you how to <clears throat> how to get the Wi-Fi. Tells you uh, what to expect for housekeeping. So he keeps you well informed. Uh, the manager, you, you should before you arrive, you should know what you're getting into. Um, overall, I I like the place. It's not the cleanest. Um, but it's all about location and price with me. So uh, we're gonna do a quick run outside and I'm gonna show you what I mean by location. So we're at the back of the property now. So this is the back stairway. <clears throat> and the back stairway leads you to, oh, he's got the uh, washer and dryer facility, coin operated, down there in the basement. But here, I step out of the building, and I'm telling you, it's about, you know, 30 seconds and you are on Ocean Drive. Ninth and Ocean Drive. Ninth and Ocean Drive is where Muscle Beach is located. So, right outside the room, across Ocean Drive. Just like that, we're out at the beach, Muscle Beach. So just over that vegetation is the water. So hopefully you got a feel for what it's like being at the Sherbrooke Hotel, South Beach.